Good day, good day to you. I warmly welcome you back to another presentation of our positive word. I trust that you're okay. Thank you for joining me. We are not alone. I say this with confidence in the God that I serve because I know that he is the only God, the only Father who is omnip omnipresent. It's such a confidence, such a thing of joy, comfort, to know that I have a God who is everywhere with me, wherever I go, in every situation, circumstance, with whomever, God is right there with me. Whether it's something that's frightening, something that's encouraging, I just know that I am not alone. And that's what I just want to come and share with us to encourage us today. We see all that's going on in the world. Everything that gives us palpitation keeps us awake at night. But beloved, be reminded, we are not alone. You are not alone. God is with us. He tells us in Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. Yes, Jesus says, surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. He is with us always. Wouldn't you rather believe a God who said that than anything else or any other thing that poses us? some super being god is with us in all situations no matter what you're going through or facing today you are not alone i encourage you to walk crawl jump run fly swim do whatever you can but by all means keep moving through that situation until you come out stronger bigger better brighter and wiser god is with us he said Exodus chapter 3 verse 12, certainly I will be with you. I do not know how else to simplify this word for you to understand. God promised this and he's a God who keeps to his word. So far as we hold on to him, we trust him. God will never fail. He won't start with you. I want to remind us that God is with us. We are never alone. He is holding on to us, comforting us and loving us no matter what. Yes, the world and everything going on are very scary right now. We do not know what's coming. We do not know where we're going. So many things are happening. We hear all sorts of things. But beloved, take comfort in the fact that we have a God who holds the future. He knows the future. He has it in his hand. He is right there. He's waiting. When we get there, he would have prepared it for our comfort. Hence he says in Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2b, When you go through the deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through the rivers of difficulties, you will not drown. When you walk through fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you, for I am your, the Lord your God, your Savior. We will go through difficulties. We will go, some people will feel like they're drowning in the sorrows of their aches and pains, of all the troubles, challenges that seem to be endless. But God says we will not drown. He will be with us. Fire of oppression, and we see that today, where we have been oppressed in various ways. But we will not be burned. Because God is with us. He is our saviour, our salvation. He will come through. My dear friend, we are not alone. Strength comes sometimes from knowing that you are not alone. Do not give up. Do not buckle up. Never ever let the situation be your focus. Keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. He is with us and he is working all things out for our own good to the glory of his own name. I wanted to remind us today, I do not know your situation. I do not know how, how intense, how severe things may be for you. I just wanted you to remember that we are not alone. God is with us. He is working behind the scenes. Yes, things may not be what they are, right? what you want them to be, but keep thanking God, calling on his name. He will come through. It may seem hopeless, but we have the God in whom our hope is placed and we will not be disappointed. We are not alone, my friend. God is with us. 
I thank God that I do not have an image that I carved. He's not one of those gods, small letter G gods, where images are crafted by hand and placed somewhere. So unless you go to that spot, you can't access your God. Wherever we are, we can access this God. It doesn't matter where. Even if you can't speak, you're in a place where you have been restricted from speaking or praying. God is inside of us. He listens, he hears. We can cry in our hearts to him and we will be responded to. I thank you for joining me today. Until I come your way again, it's goodbye for now. As you remember that God is with you, God is with us. We are not abandoned. God bless you.